Hi everyone, it's Tree. How are you doing today? I hope you're having a good and crafty day. Um, I am here. Um, I don't know if you remember. <laughs> um, Victoria Moon, Victoria's Moon, the diamond painting company, has asked me to uh, review their product and share it with you. Um, I did do an unboxing, but I lost that footage. So um, I'll let you know that the package came wrapped in plastic and tape. It was very, very secure. It also came in um, a very pretty box. Hard to show you all. Oh. I just noticed something. So I've been like, I don't know what to do with this and I don't know what to do with that. So it shows you poking, or I don't know what to do with this and I don't know what to do with that. So they show it they poking this and getting the wax in there and then picking up the, these, um, these little plastic things are called thrills. Um, so I'm going to show you everything that came in my kit. Um, I got plastic tray and it has the the ridges so you put your drills in there and you give it a shake and they all start lining up and facing upward. I did choose the square drills as opposed to the round ones. Um, I just thought they were different and unique. I had never heard of them. I always thought they were round and then um, I heard somewhere that when you do that they're square, they, the image is sharper and clearer, and so. Um, so they did give me this tool. Um, they did give me some wax. Um, they gave me this that I don't know what this is, but I will figure that out in a little bit. They gave me a paper. Now this was a full sheet, but this is all that was on here, of the numbers the symbols and the color number. So each color number has a symbol and a number and that coordinates with the packet of drills here. So if you can see number one, number one, this is 152, 152, and they're right here. Um, this also coordinates with what's on my canvas. I'm going to call it my canvas. Oh wait, that's the picture of my image, some pretty roses. So I just decided to fold this up and um, put it in. Oh, so I made me a box to house a paper crafting. has to go paper crafting. I don't know. Anyway, I was trying to line these, but there's, it goes all the way from 1 to 25. So, you know, carrying those around is very hard. So I thought, well, if they were in here, I don't think I need all of this. Um, maybe. Uh, they also gave me a pair of very fine point tweezers. These have come in very handy. And this pretty little case, little case, that has this, this pretty little jewel picker thingy, and it's got the pink crystals in it, which is really cute, and the waxy tip. Now, um, I find when I keep pressing, 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 it flattens out, and the more you press, the more it starts to look like that. So I just keep pushing it lining, um, rounding it, making it a, a tip. So that's what I've been doing. Um, uh, what do I tell you? Um, so far I really like their company. You know that um, when I got this cute stuff over here, it's when I got this 
and the bag. I thought it was my Victoria Moon diamond painting kit um, because that was said FedEx said it was delivered at 10 a.m. or 10.30 a.m. But by the time I went down about an hour later, um, it was already gone. Now we had people moving in and out. We had people, workers working on people's units, uh, construction or plumbing or I don't know what. Um, so maybe one of them accidentally picked it up. I, I know there are people in this world that <laughs> sticky little fingers. <laughs> but I'd like to think that it was on accident. So, um, I don't know. Anyway, Victoria's Moon, um, the gal who was helping me, um, she, they were very kind. I was like, you know, it's missing. I don't know where it is. I don't know what happened. Um, went through all this with FedEx and, and they said they were just going to re- make it and resend it. So that was very kind of them, I, I think. They also, if you go to victoriasmoon.co.uk, and this is the code, it's all my letters are capitals, and it's ADS8N, F as in F O X, Fox, Z, 6, W, X, and you will get 10% off any purchase you make there and it's unlimited use so if you go in and you purchase one you'll get 10% off and if you go back and purchase another one you'll get another 10% off so I think that's really cool and very nice of them um, I do think that the the coating is very clear it's clearly marked in many places I've done cross stitch and usually you just get a, you know a piece of paper it's not even this sturdy and this is scrapbook paper um, but this is it's paper but it's got a you can hear it it's like it's been laminated on one side um, and I chose to fold it up so it would fit in my box that I created um, So even without any real directions, I could I clearly knew that when I peeled this off, there was an emblem here, and that's the black one. So it was the square number seventeen. And um, I first started doing this over here at my little filming desk, and you can see where it's you can see where it's not evenly spaced. You can see the white. And then I was just filming again and working here. And you can see that it's starting to get out of alignment. But over here, all of this, um, if you don't know, I craft in my lap. I sit in my regular living room chair and I craft in my lap. Um, number seven is this one. Okay, so um, I don't really want to do any more, but I will do a couple. I think it it's nice to just show you what it is. I just don't think that I do very well. Um, in this area. I do better in a chair. I have my op light that has a magnifying glass in it. If you don't know, I'm turning 54. I've got really old eyes. <laughs> Even with contacts, I can't seem to see. So the arrow is number 11. So that's this one. So you pick it up. I see I have a her. That one's a dog because it's straight. Oh, that's right, I only have a dog. Yeah, I have more than a dog, but shh, don't tell anymore. You're only supposed to have one pet. Okay, so 
So then I just place them down and um, did I just lose that? Oh. Wait, I found it. Oh wait, is this? Oh, that's a black one. That's from the other day. <laughs> when I unboxed, I did something. I, I hit the box. The I hit the, the little tray. And they all went flying. So, I'll just do these few right here. Oh. So I also found that I can put them over here on the work that I've already done. And it'll help me upright them and so like this one's upside down, so I'll just tuck like that and then I flip it over and then I pick it up. That's because I'm working with more than one color. And I only have one of these ridge trays. So I'm also using the case that this came in to put colors in. So, um, as far as my ADD goes, Okay, I'm going to stop here because it's getting crooked again. I need to get back underneath the magnifying glass. So, as far as my ADD goes, um, I seem to be doing okay. Um, this is my third day working on this project. I think this only goes in one way. No? Oh. It only goes down so far. Don't worry about me. I'll figure this out. So this is what I've done in three days. Last night was the most I did, like, I did, like, down here. And my first day I was just, like, in this little edge here. And then I did most of this last night. And then I just started doing this tonight. So, um, <clears throat> all right, so I got to figure out which color is what and put them back in. <laughs> I think the hardest part right now is, um, getting these little plastic bags open. I do have a hard time with that. Do you see me fumbling? It's usually worse. Okay. <gasps> and then I go and do that. And I'll find them eventually. I will. I'm assuming they kind of like cross stitch that they give you um, extra just in case, you know, like cross stitch, but um, in case it unravels or gets to be in and out. So the way I set this up is um, I start with one and I go to five and then I have card six and then seven. This goes to 10 and this one's 11 and so on. And my colors go all the way up to 25. So that's my project share. Um, I want to thank you guys for coming on, for watching. Um, I'd appreciate if you hit that like button. And if you're new, this is not what I normally do. I don't normally do diamond painting. Um, this is something new that I'm trying out. I am really enjoying it. Uh, normally I do more paper crafting. Um, these are things that people have given me, but, um, normally I, I made that, but, um, anyway, I hope you will, cons I'm shaking the table, I forgot where I was at, I hope that you will consider, um, subscribing and coming back. Um, so, if you're at all interested in trying this out, 
victoriousmoon.co.uk. I will also put all this information in the description box below. Just push more and you will find everything. Um, I'm not sure what this code, oh, see that says 50 by 50, that's the um, size of this. So that must be inches, right? I don't know, I don't remember. It's UK, maybe they're using centimeters would only be about here. I don't know. I think it's inches. But anyway, it's it's quite large and it was very generous of them to offer such a large canvas for me to start with. Um, I would assume that um, most places would offer like bare minimum. Let's get you started and see if you really like it. Let's, you know. It's how I would start out with a project make a card, make a bookmark, you know, that kind of thing, and then move on to something larger. Um, but I'm rambling, <laughs> which is what I'm known for. No, it's not. I try to stay on track. <laughs> so I will let you guys go. Um, I hope you're having a good day, and um, I will catch you in my next video. Until then, God bless you and yours. Bye for now.